this isn't gonna work, is it? Um, yeah. Uh, <coughs> Maybe she doesn't see me. Could I do this? Could I actually pull this off? <laughs> this is gonna be great if she doesn't see me. Hello everybody, Iceshard2003 aka Camden here today with Peggy the Pegasus and I'm here to bring you guys a new episode of the Spellbound SMP. So Peggy, I'm sorry, I'm not doing any adventuring with you today so I'm gonna have to keep you uh, right here my dear. But uh, yeah, maybe in, in a few episodes we can go adventuring a little bit, and you can uh, yeah, you can you can stretch your wings, you can get out of the house because I know you've been cooped up on this balcony for quite a while. And <coughs> <coughs> I apologize if I cough a lot this video. I just broke this cold a couple days ago, and it was like a five day cold, and it was not fun. I'm telling you. So I saw a bit. <coughs> there we go. Uh, a few remnants of a cough. Uh, lingering around so yeah apologies but yeah guys today sprinkles has set up this fun little uh, secret Santa at spawn that I think I might go and uh, take a look at but first of all I would like to show you what I've been working on while uh, we've been gone um, yeah I made a few decorations for the house we have a small little living room right here with is that he-man we got He-Man on TV. What what other channels are on? <gasps> Nine Cat. Yes, we're keeping it on Nine Cat. Actually, no. What other channels are there? Okay, no. Nine Cat's the channel to go. So yeah, a living room right here with the lovely Nine Cat cat on TV. We've got uh, a globe, some flowers, a lamp. Just you know, your your, your necessities um, to make it look pretty, I guess. And I've got this lovely little dining table over here with nobody to to dine with. That's why in here I have a kitchen, which also has a little table with no one. Hey! What happened to this table? There were two tables here. But then I've got some pictures lying on the walls, and I've got a nice lovely kitchen with this nice blue rug. I've got these uh, cookies that Knight gave me a few episodes ago. I've got my sundae, got carrots, a blender, and like just your, your amenities that you may need. And I think the kitchen's my favorite room in the house uh, so far. And then if I come out of the house and fly up onto this little mesa area, I know it's technically not a mesa biome, um, but if I hop up here, you can see that I've got a little sheep farm going, and I got a little baby sheep, I got adult sheep, and yeah, it's just, I'm starting up a little farm, so that way I can slowly, uh, start to get, uh, the proper necessities and materials I'll need just to survive on a daily basis, because lately I've been scavenging for food and stuff. Oh, and guys, I got a certain tool that will come in, like, a lot of use uh, in the future, especially when it comes to making a farm, and that tool is a golden lasso. I was able to craft one, easy peasy, well, actually not easy peasy, it took a while to find an inner pearl, but yeah, I was able to, uh, to craft it in the end, um, and that's how I got those sheep into that pin. But anyway guys, I need to head over to Spawn to see uh, old Sprinkle's uh, shop, or not shop, but secret, secret, secret Santa. Oh, and yeah, I also made a portal to Santa's Grotto in the portal hall, so that way people can walk into the portal. And they're here with this magical tree that Sprinkles decided it needed to be rounded. And what is going to be uh, Santa's house, but I haven't uh, yet gotten it to completion. And then I'm also going to have a toy factory, and a reindeer barn, and uh, something else. And I'm still debating on what the, the fourth building's going to be, but it'll probably be another North Pole-like um, North Pole object. Maybe little elf houses. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think uh, the fourth building should be. But anyway, let's head up. Oh, and also I destroyed my little uh, trading tents that I made in the last episode because uh, Agent disapproved of it, did not like how I stole his trimmerite, and so he shut it down, and I was like, eh, there's no use to having this here anymore. 
And tonight has made herself a fancy little, uh, not bakery, but this little restaurant. Ow, mean spider. Go away, I don't want you here. Um, but yeah, she made herself a nice, friendly restaurant here where you can come in, sit down, have a bite to eat. She's selling a lot of good looking foods here, especially this, this, uh, sub, the subway or footlong, uh, whatever it is. It looks really good. But aside from the updates to the world, it's time to go into Sprinkles' uh, little deal here. And the use code is 1010, I believe. Yeah, there's a password that I have to put on the door. So 1010, enter. Okay, let's go in. Secret Santa, made by Puggy slash Sprinkles. You can subscribe to her, as she says, or, or you don't have to. You don't have to feel obligated to, but you can. Alright, so I just hit this and it randomly gives me a name. Okay, let's see who I get. By the way, to all of you Spellbound members, do not watch ahead in this video. Or do not watch this video from this point on. Because, of course, if I get you, then you're gonna know that I, I'm getting you a present. So, yeah. Do be wary. And the secret Santa is Rainbow. So I need to be getting Rainbow a nice present present uh, for Christmas. So what should I get Rainbow? Well, I know Rainbow had a little seafood shop in the last world before that place got destroyed. Should I get her something to do with the ocean? Because I feel like she might uh, take fondness in, in the ocean. Does she have a house? Because maybe I could build her a little ocean house. I think she might like if she doesn't have a house already. Because I don't think she's been um, on the world since the, uh, the reboot. So, yeah, let me find, uh, about to where her portal is. Oh, the first one right here. Let's go in. No, she doesn't have a house. So I could get her a house. I could reopen her seafood restaurant. Um, or I can, uh, just get her something else entirely. I think I might, uh, rebuild her shop for her. Uh, maybe not exactly how it looked beforehand, but I feel like I could, uh, yeah, do some good and, uh, you know, give her property back. So, yeah, that might be a good idea. And she's not on the server enough right now, uh, to the point where she can see what I'm building for her. So, yeah, this might, this might work out. Or it could go terribly and blow up in my face. So, let's go to my house. Let's come back. Hello, Peggy. And I'm gonna see what kind of materials, um, I have that I can build out of. I can build this restaurant uh, out of. I don't know if I have very many because I've been spending all my time collecting resources resources for the Santa Grotto, but hey, I'll, I'll see what I got. So, yeah, no wood. You know, I have a lot of snow even at the, um, the, uh, Santa's Grotto that I could use because I've had to clear out so much snow there. Now, what are these colored bricks? These actually look really nice. I can make a nice little seafood restaurant out of these. Alright, let me see here if I can go, uh, colored bricks. Uh, these are stone bricks. I'm looking- okay, here we go, the actual bricks. Um, what kind of crafting recipe do I need? I need actual bricks, and then I need dye. What, what's the paintbrush? Oh, okay, string and, uh, and sticks. How much will I get if I use this crafting recipe? Let me check this out. I'll get seven. Okay, so that's not too bad of a, of a price. It's just the clay and the bricks are going to be kind of hard to get, but I think I can do this. All right, so I'm going to have to find a nice watery place where clay may uh, spawn. So let me go to my journey map and see where the most water is. Probably over by Agent's house. So I'm gonna go see if I can uh, scuba dive out there. Looky, Sprinkles is doing another interpreted dance. Alrighty, welcome to Agent's house. Alright, so I'm not actually going into Agent's house. Uh, ooh, actually, I might have an inventory pet. Do I have a squid pet? No, I don't have a squid pet. I have a lot of pig pets. Um, do I have no, no pet that'll help me down here? I don't think so. Maybe I can use my ocelot pet for night vision if I can get out of the water to breathe. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use the, uh, ocelot pet, and it's out of, uh, out of energy. Here we go, found some clay. Let's see if I can, uh, maneuver over this way. Now, before I get too hasty, uh, how do you make a prick again? Because it's been a while. Uh, okay, I just smelt 
uh, smelt clay. So, okay, that should be pretty easy. Alright, so I have a bunch and bunch of clay. I don't know if it's enough, but I have it. Like, I have some. So, hopefully this will do good. Uh, it looks to smelt relatively quickly, so I think I should be on the good side. Now, I do, 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 um, need string, and I don't know if I have enough string. Um, let me check to see, I have one piece of string. Um, maybe my friends won't mind if I go and borrow some string. It is string, just string after all. I mean, I'm not gonna take, like, all of the string in the world. It's pretty easy to get. Um, what am I even looking for? Oh, yes, I wanted to grab all of the blue dyes I could. These are lapis nuggets, which can be um, turned, if I can show you right here, into actual lapis uh, lazuli. So yeah, this should be good. How am I supposed to collect it? Like that, there we go. I was able to get 15 from that. Then I also have some more, uh, let's see, some more cyan, and then I have this blue dye. Which is like a modded dice. So I don't know if I can use this or not, but I'll, I'll see. Um, Alright, so this should work. Let's go to Agent's house, considering he's the bestest um, in the whole wide world, and he would totally, totally let me borrow his string. Um, maybe. So, yeah, let's see if I can sneak my way in here. He's got your new panda! Hello, panda. He also has a turtle. Hello, turtle. Huh. He's getting lots of pets, and I still have just... He has another panda? He has, like... Wait. Okay, that was a Christmas light. I thought it was another panda. Huh. He has lots of pandas. Interesting. Must be his family. Coming over for the holidays, you know? Oh, gosh. This is kind of crowded. Alright, let's see what kind of things he has. Inventory pets. And being the... Oh, no. Those are whores. Um, I'm just needing, like, mob droppings. Excuse me, everyone. Uh, he's got clay! Uh, he probably doesn't want me to take his clay. I won't take his clay because I did say I was only coming for string. I think that was his mob dropping chest. So, yeah, he doesn't have any string here. Alright, Agent, I'll get out of your hair. Sorry to bother. Um, I just need to do this for my present for Rainbow. You know, Sprinkles has messy and unorganized chests. Maybe if I take string from her, she won't even notice. Alright, oh, wait, she's home. Um, is she... Is she home? AFK? Yeah, she's probably AFK. Merpanda Sings. Merpanda Sings, I'm your biggest fan! Let's see if I can just sneak around and find some string without her looking. Um, nope. Okay, sorry to bother, I'll be out of your hair. Billy the horse is in her house. Lovely. Where does this portal lead to? Oh, nowhere. No string here. No string here. No string here. Well, Sprinkles has no string whatsoever, so I am out. Strav, buddy old friend, I bet you've got some nice, lovely, lovely, uh, string in one of these chests. <sighs> It's official. Nobody has string whatsoever. It's just not a material people have. Ooh, night's on. I don't know if she's here at her house, but uh, I might ask her if she has string. Um, let me go in here. First of all, see if she has string for myself, um, and then I can judge whether or not I want to take it. Uh, let's see. Oh, she's got leather, too? Oh, I could use some leather. Oh, she does have string. Uh, let's ask her if I can borrow it. Oh, she said that she was gonna go get it. Um, he he he. Um, I'm not here. Um, can I, like, sneak to the side and try to hide from her without her noticing? This isn't gonna work, is it? Um, yeah. Uh, <coughs> maybe she doesn't see me. Can I do this? Can I actually pull this off? <laughs> this is gonna be great if she doesn't see me. Come on. Come on. Yeah! <laughs> she teleported to me and I was here the whole time. 
<laughs> oh, that was great. Thank you, Knight. Alright, I'm leaving your house. I'm sorry I was hiding in the corner. Not creepy at all. Let's see if I can do this. And it's basically like that. Or is it like that? There we go. We got... Uh, how many paintbrushes can I make from this? Oh, they're not stackable? Darn it, that makes things hard. Alright, now how do you make bricks? Okay, fairly simple. And then it's like so, I believe? Or no, we need the die. Um, let's go ahead and make some lapis, or not. Okay, I had it wrong. It's like this. Here we go. Alright, I made seven. That's not a lot. Uh, it's gonna take quite a bit of resources to make this completely. Gosh, I just need to empty out my inventory. It's annoying me. I just realized that these paintbrushes are reusable. Can I uncraft them? No, I don't need this many. Uh, it's dirty lava. Nah, I'm good. I don't really need y'all. There we go. All taken care of. So I almost have a stack of these. And, like, it's the reason is, like, the bricks smelt so slowly. Just look at it. While I was waiting, I decided to work a bit more on the Santa's Grotto area, and it's coming along slowly. So, Santa's house is going to be split into three rooms. There's going to be, like, a living room, a kitchen, a bedroom, and then, I don't know what this other room is going to be, maybe just like a storage closet. I can at least come here to spawn and get stuff uh, cleared out and ready for when the shop does come in so where should i build this it looks like maybe right here is going to be the spot so let me get my shears and get rid of these bushes is it just me or do these bushes not clear out as fast as normal leaves maybe it's because they're bushes whoa ever think about that kevin get rid of this and we be good Actually, no, this dirt mound's getting on my nerves. Go away, I don't want you here. Alright, so let's plan out where this uh, this shop's gonna start. I think two blocks from the path, like Knight's shop is, I think it'll keep it um, with like a theme going. So let's see, let's go one, uh, two, and then I'll have it start here. Um, and then let's have the door, let's go three, four, maybe? Uh, let's go four. Five. And then let's have a double door, and then let's go one, two, three, four, five. So this should end up making a uh, six, no, not a six, a twelve by twelve uh, square, I believe. <gasps> Idea! What if I made this into like a whale, a blue whale, and then I had like a little blowhole fountain at the top of it? <gasps> I'm doing that! That'll look amazing! Alright, so what if I had like a tail, um, and it like went up, like something like up here? Yas, I'm liking this! Heh, <laughs> heh, it'll look good once I get more bricks, you know? Alright guys, listen here, I've been here for about 7,000 million years. Okay, it's it's been two days, but still, that's a long time. And I still don't have enough uh, of these bricks. I've been building and building and crafting more and more bricks. And like, I'll show you what I've, what progress I've made in a second. But I mean, I'm on the last bit of bricks that I need. I just need two more, two more sets of, or I need to craft the uh, blue bricks two more times, just two, and then I should be free finally. But it takes forever for this to smelt, and then I have to go and get more clay, which I actually think I might need to go get more clay now. And then my cloud pet, as you can see, it's it's out of health, so now I can't use it to fly around, and so I have to use my chicken pet to get around faster. And it is just terrible. Look at the it's just it's raining now. That just tells you how terrible it is. However, I have managed to get some work done on Santa's Grotto, as you can see here. This is not 100% uh, complete, but it is uh, what I have of Santa's house so far. And then I have Knight uh, preparing a little reindeer barn right here, which I think looks really, really cute. So I have made uh, some use of the waiting for the clay to smelt. 
But I mean, it's still just a nuisance to have to wait so long. I mean, I went to bed last night and then I woke up this morning and I just hopped right back on and I was like, I'm still waiting. Let me show you here at Spawn what I've been working on. And oop, there's Knight. She's working on a, her secret Santa gift as well. Um, but yeah, here is what I actually uh, built. It's a, um, yeah, it's a, it's, I just said nobody acknowledged this giant blue whale in the middle of Spawn. Um, I had a little like fins on the sides. And then there's the eyes, and then it's got like a blowhole squirting out water at the top. Oh, Knight wants me to borrow, or buy some tacos at her shop. Uh, maybe when I can afford some. Because to be honest, I literally can't afford very many things in real life or in Minecraft. So yeah, I come in and uh, put these seven down, and guess what? I'm like two to three short. Yeah, three, exactly. And so I have to wait and get all the resources necessary to make a stack of seven, but really, I just need three. Knight just told me that a good way to get some uh, diamond nuggets uh, for a shop is to go inventory pet hunting. So maybe next episode, we can go take Peggy for a little bit of a, a trip, a little bit of exploring to try to find some inventory pets. That might be fun. Well, I'm out of clay in the furnace, and guess what? It's not enough, so I have to go get more. Yay! <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's giving me diamonds so I can afford some tacos at her shop. Oh, wait, she's just gonna get the diamonds back, so like, it doesn't really matter. To the shop. Alright, let's go into her shop. Oh, she's added some more food since the last time I was in here. Some sandwiches, nice. Alright, so let me just turn these into nuggets. Oh, that's maybe a little too many. And I really want some sub uh, subs. Ooh, that's fancy. They just like pop out the top. Okay, I'll get a few Subway sandwiches. Uh, I'll get uh, a couple tacos, because she really wants me to buy the tacos. This coffee, even though I don't like coffee in real life, it looks good in the game. So I'm going to get some of those. I know from experience that her chocolate strawberries are to look- Oh, she's out of chocolate strawberries. And I'll get a strawberry jelly sandwich. So now let me go sit down at one of these nice, fancy tables, and I can eat myself some food. Mm -hmm. That was delicious. How many hunger bars did it fill up? Oh, I can't tell because I'm sitting. Uh, oh, all of them. So I can't eat the tacos now. Oh, and my strawberries on the floor. No, it's getting all dirty now. Ew. Well, I'm going to put this stuff in my backpack so I can eat it later once my hunger gets back up because her food actually is pretty good. Now to go and get some lovely Jeffle clay. It's not that lovely. It's a pain. Let's see if Knight has any rivers near her house because I pretty much cleared out all of the rivers by my house, Agent's house, uh, Spawn, uh, Sprinkle's house, Stannis Grotto. Um, yeah, so I think if Knight has some rivers, I should be able to get some clay from her. If not, then I'm just gonna go scavenge for some more. There's gotta be a body of water around here somewhere. Oh, oh, here we go, a tiny pond. And is that clay or is that sand? That's sand, boo. Here we go, here we go, what's this right here? It's gravel! Actually, right there, that might be clay. Nope, that's stone. Oh, hey goats, you wanna help me find clay? Do you know where he is? <laughs> no? Okay. Uh, bye then. Water, huh? Clay, clay, um, nope, it's all stone. Piggy, if you see any clay, call me. Ooh, is that a beehive? Oh, a lot of people have been getting beehives. Maybe I can get a beehive and then, oh, I got a queen bee. Now, what, what can I do with these again? Can I set it free? No. Okay, it's weird that I have a queen bee on me now. I'm also surprised I didn't get attacked by a swarm of bees. <laughs> must be my lucky day. And they must all be dead from the winter. None of these little ponds have any clay in them. I mean, come on, I just need some clay. Look, it's just stone and stone and more gravel. This better have some clay in it or else. Let's look, is this clay? I think this is. It's clay! Oh, my precious clay! I've missed you so much, clay. 
Oh, I can't believe I found you. Thank you, Mr. Goat, for showing me the clay. That was very nice of you. Boom! Back in Santa's grotto. Let's, like, just throw this into the furnace. Hopefully it smelts pretty quickly. Bee motivation. Boom! That did nothing. Use the bee magic and go quicker. I need three more brick blocks. Come on. Come on. We can do this. We got this. Stay positive. Two more. Two more. Come on. Come on. Two more. One more. Whoop. There it is. And voila. The final touches. Now we're back at spawn. Let's put in these last three. And then I'll let uh, Rainbow decorate the inside from here. So, there we go. It's all complete, and nobody will acknowledge the giant blue whale at spawn. So, that was a fun building project. Not. But, I think Rainbow will appreciate me bringing back her uh, seafood restaurant, and if she doesn't, then I have failed at gift giving. Next episode, I'm going to go adventuring with Peggy Carter, get get a bit of fresh air and help Peggy Carter get out of the house. And then, yeah, I will also work on Santa's Grotto off episode. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video on Spellbound SMP. Like it if you liked it, share it if you liked it, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Make sure you go check out everyone else's channel in the description below. And I will see you guys all in the next video. See you later, guys. Bye. Ishard is meowed.